Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about related rates. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. A spherical balloon is inflated so that its radius, r, increases at a rate of 2 over r centimeters squared. How fast is the volume of the balloon increasing when the radius is 4 centimeters? Okay, first, what's the formula for the volume of a sphere, this balloon, right? Well, the volume is equal to our 4 thirds pi r cubed. And if we had an image of this, I'm not the best at drawing spheres. It's like something like that. And then we say like, I don't know, the radius r. Okay, <laughs> don't judge my spherical balloon right there, all right? All right. Well, what are they giving to us? Well, we are given the rate at which the radius is increasing. So the rate of the radius, dr dt, is given as a rate of 2 over r centimeters per second. Okay? What else are we given? Well, we want to find that happens when the radius is 4 centimeters. So the r we're looking for is 4 centimeters. Okay? And we want to find our, well, dv dt, the rate at which the volume of the balloon is increasing. So our dv dt is what we're looking for. So when I start with, with my uh, formula right here for the volume of a sphere, I'm going to derive this res with respect to time. Okay? So we have d over dt of the volume is equal to d over dt of 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay? Now, what's easy on the left hand side, derivative with respect to time of the volume, is just that dv dt. Here we can pull out our constants, 4 thirds pi, just out here, don't need that there, and let's derive r cubed with respect to time. Power rule brings down the 3, r stays the same in there, subtract the exponent by 1 is 2. Now, that's like the chain rule going on, derive r with respect to time, and that's dr dt. And so now we have pretty much the meats here, let's go plug in what we know, right? and simplify where we can, right? 3, 3 cancels, that's always easy to get out of the way. So dv dt is equal to 4 times pi times our r value at this moment was 4 centimeters, so we have 4 centimeters, and we're squaring that, times, now notice here, our dr dt is 2 over r centimeters per second. So we have that put in here, 2 over r centimeters per second. But if you're confused here, it's normal, right? Well, we have a variable and our rate, what's our rate of the volume, what's going on? Well, our rate at which the radius is increasing is dependent on where the radius actually is. And so the moment we have, we're talking about, is at 4 here. So we plug that in. So we have dv dt is equal to 4 times pi times 4 centimeters squared times 2 over 4 centimeters per second. Okay? Well, let's go cancel where we can. 4 cancels right here. Okay? Simplify this whole thing out. We'll put it over here. And what do we have? Well, 4 squared times 2. Okay, I'm sure I lost my spot here. 4 squared times 2 gives me that 32. We have a pi. Okay? Then our units, we have centimeters squared times centimeters, so we have centimeters cubed over seconds. Which actually makes sense because we're talking about the rate at which a volume is changing. And so the answer, they asked us how fast is the volume of the balloon increasing when the radius is 4 centimeters is 32 pi centimeters cubed per second. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.